Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now answering question number 10. And here's part A of number 10 from the June 2024 Pure Mathematics P2 paper from the Edexcel International A level exam. This is the June 2024 R paper. Um, and here we have a question which tells us about the sketch of a curve C, which has equation y equals 9x minus x squared over 2 root x where x is greater than zero, and the point P is the stationary point of the curve. Stationary point means a point of zero gradient. Find using calculus the x-coordinate of P. So the stationary point is a point which has zero gradient. It could be a turning point, a maximum or a minimum, it could be a point of inflection, but the point is that that is a place where the gradient is equal to zero. Right, so for us to find the gradient of the curve, we're going to use the first derivative. We're going to differentiate this. So the stationary point is where dy dx is equal to zero. dy dx represents the gradient. So we've got to find the dy dx, the gradient function for this, and equate it to zero and solve for x, and we will find the x coordinate of p. So we start off with y equals 9x minus x squared over, I'm going to write root x as x to the power of a half. One thing we should know from our understanding of indices is x to the power of a half, uh, x, the square root of x is x to the power of a half. If it was a cube root of x, that would be x to the power of a third and so on. So that's x to the power of a half. Now for me to get this ready to, um, differentiate, I'm going to write this as two separate terms rather than having it as one big fraction. Okay, I can't just differentiate the numerator and differentiate the denominator and then think that that's going to give me the answer. I have to write, express it as separate terms in terms of x. So I'm going to write this as 9x over x to the power of a half minus x squared over x to the power of a half. And I'm going to combine these x terms together. Uh, there's a two, uh, sorry, two root x. I forgot the two. Be very careful not to make that mistake. There's a 2 there, so it's 2 times root x, right? So that's 2 times x to the power of a half. Now, next thing we've got to do is we have 9 over 2, which I'll leave as 9 over 2. You can write it as 4.5 if you want. And then you have x to the power of 1 divided by x to the power of a half. x to the power of 1 divided by x to the power of a half. Now remember what you do here when you're dividing two numbers in index form with the same base, you subtract the powers, and 1 minus a half is a half, that's x to the power of a half. And similarly, you have x squared divided by x to the power of a half. So first of all, you're going to have um, 1 over 2, that'll be the fraction. And then you have um, x to the power of 2 minus x to the power, uh, divided by x to the power of a half, you have to subtract the powers. So that's 2 minus a half, that's like 4 over 2 minus 1 over 2, which is 3 over 2. So it's x to the power of 3 over 2. So now it's ready for us to differentiate. Now when we differentiate this, we have to multiply by the power. So I'll just do this step by step. So you multiply it by the power. So a half times 9 over 2 times x to the power of, and we subtract 1 from the power. A half minus 1 is like a half minus 2 over 2, which is negative a half, minus, and here you're going to have 3 over 2 times a half, x to the power of, that's 3 over 2 minus 1, which is 3 over 2 minus 2 over 2, which is a half. Okay, so let's just simplify this a little bit. So we're left with dy dx is equal to, that's a half times 9 over 2, which is 9 over 4, x to the power of negative a half minus 3 over 4, x to the power of a half. And now we're going to solve when dy dx is equal to 0, to find the stationary point. So I'm going to write this as 9, I'll write this as 9 over 4x to the power of a half, minus 3 over 4x to the power of a half equals 0. Now if I want to solve this, there's different ways I can do it. I can multiply both sides by x to the power of a half to get rid of the fraction. In fact, I'll multiply by 4 times, I'll multiply both sides by 4x to the power of a half. So if I multiply by 4x to the power of a half, it will get rid of this you're left with 9, minus, if you multiply by 4, the 4 will cancel, I'm left with 3, x to the power of a half times x to the power of a half gives me just x equals 0, 
okay? Because uh, when I multiply by four x to the power of a half, you have to, you, you're gonna, cap four is gonna cancel out with the four underneath. And x to the power of a half times itself, you add the powers of half times, uh, half plus a half is one. And now I can simply solve this. I have nine is equal to three x. So therefore x is equal to nine over three, which is three. So the x coordinate of P, x coordinate of the point P is equal to three. So x coordinate of P is equal to three. And that's the answer to this question, um, part A of question number 10. Okay, and now we're going to go on to part B. Okay, I think I need this for part B. So I'll just take this with me. Okay, so it says the finite region R, shown shaded in figure one, is bounded by the curve C, the x-axis, and the line with the equation x equals one. This line over here. Using calculus, calculus, calculate the exact area of R. Right, so now I need to integrate this. I need to find the integral of y with respect to x between the limits of one and this point here. I have to find. Okay, so let me call this point, um, let's just call it the point uh, P. I just thought we've got, we've got a point P. So let's call it, let me call this, this point, the point, let's call it the point X. All right. So how do I find that point? Well, what I'm going to do is I want to know where does this curve hit the X axis? Right, so where does it hit the x-axis? Okay, uh, it's the x-axis. Let me just call it some other. I'll just call it Q. Let me call, it, let me call this point Q. All right, so the value of Q here, I'll call it a little Q. Let's call this Q just to be better. All right, so now, how do I find that point? Well, I know when y equals 0, it hits the x-axis. Okay, so when 9x minus x squared over two times the root of x is equal to zero. This is the x-axis. I can solve this by multiplying both sides by uh, two root x, in which case it cancels there. You're left with nine x minus x squared is equal to zero. So I can solve this by factorizing. I have x and I have uh, nine minus x equals zero. So either x equals zero or x equals nine x can't equal zero because it says x is greater than zero of course this is where x equals nine so this is the point when x equals nine so this is going to be nine there so i have my limits now and i can now try to solve the problem so now i have to integrate this expression now i already have one second let me do it like this okay that's a bit better I already have this thing given, already um, got ready for inter differentiation, and of, of course that means it's ready for integration. So that's what y is equal to in terms of, um, you know, getting it ready to be integrated or differentiated. Now I want to integrate this. So I want to find the integral, okay, between the limits of zero uh, or one and nine, of nine over two x to the power of a half, minus a half x to the power of three over two with respect to x. Okay, so now what I can do is I can actually integrate. I mean, I could actually take out a half in front of the whole thing and then continue, but there's no need to do that. I can just integrate now. So when I integrate, I'm going to have to add one to the power. So I'll have nine, um, this will be x to the power of three over two, then I'm going to this 9 over 2, I'm going to divide by 3 over 2. So in the denominator, it's going to be over 3 over 2. Okay, so 3 over 2 divided by 3 over 2, you add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. Minus, and here I'm going to have x to the power of 3 over 2 over 2 times, I add 1 to the power, sorry. I add 1 to the power first, so it's going to be x to the power of 5 over 2. If I add 1 to 3 over 2, it becomes 3 over 2 plus 2 over 2, which is 5 over 2, divided by 5 over 2. My limits are one and nine. So now you can see what happens here. The two cancels with the two, the three with the nine, leaving you with the three here. Here the two cancels with the two, leaving you with five in the denominator. So this leaves us with three times x to the power of three over two minus 
1 over 5, x to the power of 5 over 2. And our limits are 1 and 9. And now we can substitute the values in. Now remember, this is like 3 times the square root of x cubed. So this is 3 times the square root of 9 cubed. Minus 1 fifth times the square root of 9 to the power of 5. Minus, and then we're going to put 1 in there. So it's that's going to be 3 minus 1 fifth. If you raise 1 to any power, it's going to be 1 as well. So that's fine. Okay, so now we can work out the value of this. That's 3 times, the square root of 9 is 3. So that's 3 cubed, 3 times 3 cubed, minus 1 fifth. That's going to be the square root of 9 is 3, 3 to the power of 5, minus, and you're going to have 3 minus a fifth, that's 15 over 5, 15 over 5, minus 1 over 5, that's minus 14 over 5. And I can just stick this in the calculator now to get the answer. So I've got 3 times 3 cubed, which is 3 times 27, minus 1 over 5, times 3 to the power of 5 minus 14 over 5 which gives us 140 uh, um, 148 over 5 148 over 5 units squared that's the area under the curve between x equals 1 and x equals 9 and that completes this part of the question and I think that completes the whole question that is question number 10 done and that completes this paper, actually. So there we have it. We finished the, the paper, June 2024, the R paper for P2 um, at Excel International A-Level. Other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist that will appear on the top right of the screen at the end of this video. Other questions dealing with differentiation, you can find that in this playlist from P1, uh, P2, sorry, differentiation. And from P2, sorry, P2, integration you can find a playlist over here you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link at the top thank you for watching and see you soon